Right then. We've got an article called Electric Audi. In. Nice little bumper scuff on her. But problem is, there's four different colours here to paint, so it's going to be a bit awkward. So you've got your normal grey, this is like a dark grey. Then you've got a matte silver trim that's scuffed there. Look. And then you've got black trim inside there that's just scuffed a bit there. <coughs> um, struggling to get this, find this colour on this as well. Um, there's two colour codes for it, but they're both still cross-referenced to, to body colour, not to that grey, so I'm struggling. Wait, I'm having to have camera sent out, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, we're going to uh, get on with this and see how, we, see how we get on. It's always awkward when you have to do four different colours. You're having to put one colour on, then tape that off, and then put your other colour on, and then tape that one off, and, you know. Uh, it's never straightforward with any of these new cars, but uh, we'll get cracked on wait. Love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now wake up! It's time to look at the enemy. Look in the mirror if he is no friend to me. It's not working now, maybe it's the chemistry. It's time to break up so I can make a better me. Better believe in your mind, cause it's everything. You can mold shape, find almost anything. All it takes is some time and some clarity to find your identity. It's mind over everything. Right, so we're prepped up, ready for some primer. Um, got some filling in here. I didn't see this before, but when I took it all, when I took reflector out, you could see underneath here it had disformed all plastic and looked like a dint in it. So I've had to sort that out. Um, but yeah, we're ready for some primer now. Um, so we're going to get masked up and get some primer on a. I've uh, with sensors here. If you look, I've just pushed it back and I'm going to put some, um, I haven't pushed that one back yet because um, I can't get my fingers in to get it to get it out, I'd have to take bumper off and um, that's not what it's in for, we're not, we're, you know, we haven't priced it up for taking bumper off and all that kind of job, it's just a smart repair really, um, well, rather than a body shop job, but uh, I've just pushed it back and we'll put some parking sensor tape on that, these uh, quite nifty little things. You'll have seen them if you're a painter anyway, you'll have seen them. They just could basically cover the sensor up to stop any paint from getting on it. Um, but if any does get on it, it's, it's no biggie. We can just take a little, uh, little pick and just scrape, scrape it off, it's fine. It's no problem. So we're going to get this primed up anyway now. Right, so next on the list is this Ford KA. Pretty old car, 2012. But it's had a smack on front wing look. Pretty decent repair on this. Um, we're gonna pull it in and get cracking on it. Uh, I don't know. I might uh, might pull wheel wheel liner out on this one and just try and knock it out rather than getting pin pin puller out. Uh, but we'll see how we go. We're gonna uh, jump in it now. <laughs> get it pulled in shop.
Right. I've paddle beaten it out somewhat like, rather than getting pin puller on it, as you can see. It's a lot better in shape now. So we can just buzz this down and uh, yeah, get a maybe a skim or two in that and we'll be good to go for some primer. Um, but I'll tell you something, Ford are the most stupidest fucking car builders I've ever known in my life, yeah? This wheel arch liner, it had got, what did it got? I think it's got three 10 mils, like two, two 10 mil heads and then a 10 mil bolt. And then I think there were three or four posy screwdriver bits, screws that were all in wheel arch liner. And then they decide they want to change it when they attach bumper to wing and they want to use a torque bit. Like it makes no sense to me whatsoever. Why, why would you change it to a torque bit when you've used 10 mils here and posy screws here like, just make, don't, make no, don't make no sense to me. But anyway, we're gonna get cracked on and prep this up, get some filler in it. See you in a bit. So we're all repaired up, filled. Um, Scotch my wing off. Just gonna put some primer on it before I go home because it's knocking on now. It's, what, 25 to five. And I'm done at five, so I'm just about to put some primer on her and uh, leave it overnight so when I come in tomorrow it can get painted along with that one. So I'm going to get some primer on with that and uh, we'll see you in a bit. There she is. All done. Flipped into bumper fork colour. Yeah. She's looking good. All done. And then onto Audi. Audi's all done. Three different colours. You got your dark grey, your black, and then your light grey. So yeah, looking good. And put this one back together, get it demassed and get it back to the customer.